We got the last of our Earthquaker devices pedals to talk about here. Nice. Uh, they hooked us up with some pedals at NAM. This is the last one. It is the Grand Orbiter version 2. Yeah. Do you want to read the little thing there? Welcome to your new Grand Orbiter phase machine from Earthquaker Devices. The Grand Orbiter is a four-stage OTA-based phaser with a diverse feature set that can go from stationary and resonant to slow and mellow. And on through fast and swirly. It has three. It has a three-way toggle switch to select between, blah blah, lots of stuff. This isn't as interesting as the afternoon <laughs> oh, one. Oh come on, you gotta read oh, it, Steve. Come on, this is way long. We're gonna put this in a video. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> it has a three-way toggle switch to select between the ranges of modulation. Rate one is slow. Sweet mode. Rate 2 kills the LFO and allows you to use the Grand Orbiter as a fixed resonant filter. And Rate 3 is fast sweep mode. The master rate control fine tunes the speed of the LFO in each of these modes. And the flashing red LED acts as a visual indicator even when the effect is on bypass mode. The depth control blends the shifted signal in with the dry signal and controls the intensity of the effect. The sweep control governs the peak frequency of the phase signal's tone. Turned full clockwise, the sweep is lively and intense, whereas turning counterclockwise yields a darker, more laid-back peak. The resonance control provides a wide range of control over the regeneration and at higher settings adds a more pronounced and animated tone. You can also use the Grand Orbiter as a true pitch vibrato with the phase vibrato switch. When in vibrato mode, the dry signal is removed and the depth control acts as a volume control. This pedal is 100% analog, true bypass, and built entirely by hand in Beachy, Akron, Ohio. I'm proud of you, Steve. You read it. I made it. You made it all the way through. Yeah. Let's talk about phasers. Uh, yeah, let's talk about phasers. 
Eddie Van Halen. Uh huh. Anyone else? Um, there's tons of people have used phasers. No one else besides Eddie Van Halen in the history of music has think... used a phaser. No, that's not true, Steve. So many people have used them. I can't think of them off the top of my head. I the phase so phasers. It's just not an effect that we don't use a lot. So it's like we don't have a lot of opinion on it. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting review. I had a Dan Electro. Interesting meaning that we sound like idiots. Yeah. I had a Dan Electro <laughs> pepperoni phaser back in the day, and yeah. I I really liked it. But my thing is, like, now that I'm focused more on bass playing than guitar playing, I just have a lot of trouble finding a use for phaser. Yeah. Um, this was a pedal I really wanted to like. The feature set is great. The options are great. Yeah, absolutely. But because I think really just because I'm playing, like, church music as a bass player, there's not a lot I could do with it. Right. I think that that's the, was the struggle with this pedal is just that both neither of us are really phaser guys. So there's like this whole, like, what do we do with this sort of thing? Um, I'm still playing around with it, still experimenting with it. Uh, my first pedal ever was a phaser, but it was the Boss PH2. You know what? I actually, I borrowed that for, for a while from you, yeah. not to get too far from the Earthquaker stuff. I bar- I'm moving around. Yeah, you are. Uh, I borrowed that uh, for a bit from you, and I... It was all right. Yeah. I'm going to say this right out. I like this better than the boss. Yeah. Way better. It, um, it's, it sounds awesome. It yeah. It makes really cool sounding things. Like I said. If you like phasers, this is a great phaser. Yeah. It's it's, it's a, it's a uh, what is it called? A, 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 a four. Four knob. F- no, there's a, f- a four. F- what's the f- I don't know. Four stage. Four stage. That's the word I was looking for. Stage. It's a four stage phaser, which is, I think, basically the. I know there are two stage phasers, but they're a little bit different than this. Oh, okay. Like four stage is like your basic, classic, like phase 90 sort of thing. Um, something I'll say about the boss phaser is that something I used it all the time for uh, is I would dial the depth all the way down and use it just as like a stationary filter kind of sound. This thing has that, but without having to just dial down the uh, the depth, you can put it at the uh, at the number two rate setting. Yeah, and then you can dial in any point on the sweep to have this filter sound. And I've actually been playing around with that a lot, and it's a really cool thing to do because all of a sudden you can get yourself like this really kind of like cocked wah sound, right? Or get yourself. Like that Brian May kind of out of phase sound. I was trying to mess with that on bass, and I maybe with my Yamaha bass that would have worked with the P bass. The frequency spectrum on the P bass is just so like big and, uh-huh. and bulky. Um, that's actually a really good description of a P bass. Like it, sure, P bass is just kind of have this bulky thing going on. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get really that rate two setting to work. Um, but well, I think it, it's just the frequencies you sit in with the bass. Like, it doesn't matter Well, that's matter what I mean. Much. That's what I mean. Yeah. Did you run it before or after a drive? I ran... Well, I ran it clean. Oh, okay. So, you weren't using your fuzz or anything with it? No. Okay. I think if you had dropped it after the fuzz, you would have gotten mm, some pretty dramatic I results. I will say, like, a friend of ours came on, uh, David Lee, uh-huh. and he jumped on bass just to like kind of mess around with it and he was dialing in some like crazy like super funky stuff yeah when i say funky like i mean like in the 70s sense like funk sound yeah like funk music but he's a lot more comfortable as like a slapper Uh uh-huh uh than i am so he was doing a lot of like slap tone stuff and it sounded fantastic yeah totally a lot of like more like Like we said said. 70s or even like red hot chili peppers or like primus inspired stuff any problem we're having with this we're well aware that it's our issue as musicians for sure i think as far as the phasers i've played this thing sounds great i love the feature set uh i love that you can switch to the vibrato that's a really fun thing um, I think I'm going to probably end up finding a setting on the vibrato side that I work into, you know, probably right. a recording at some point because it is a really fun thing to have. I'm definitely going to be playing around with the uh, the number two position on the rate a lot. I really like how fast this thing goes. 
Oh, it can, yeah. It can get just ripping, ripping fast. Yeah. Which can be a really neat effect if you throw it in front of like a time-based effect, like a delay or a reverb. Oh, yeah. I, I got some bass sounds out of it that where it was just going nuts. It just... Yeah. I don't... It's something where I feel like for me, it would be a recording arsenal pedal. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Uh, but again like if you're looking if you're on the market for a phaser like you need to check out the grand orbiter yeah at least look at it for sure i mean you could always go with a one knob phase 90 sort of thing yeah. and it would get you your classic phaser sound but why not get a four knob two switch sort of thing where you could maybe find your own sound and i think that's really been the strong point we've been discovering with these earthquake curve pedals is that they let you come up with your own sound yeah instead of being stuck with kind of the bass sound that is available with most pedals or at least the classic pedals you know like would, earthquake what earthquaker does really well is giving you the options to do your own thing yeah i was talking to someone the other day about the all of the earthquaker stuff we've tried out uh you know, I described, I realized later, like after, I think last week's episode, uh -huh. um, the afterneath for me was like the reverb pedal for people who hate reverb pedals. Sure. Because like, you've known me a long time. I had the RV5. I've had the Digitech Digiverb. I hated both of them. Uh-huh. Because like for me, reverb, if it doesn't crash, I don't want it. Right. Totally. The afterneath for me was a different approach to reverb in that like once I started thinking about the pedal as a delay, like I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. Um But it's a reverb sound. And Earthquaker, I think what they really excel at and what makes them innovative is that their control layouts basically let you adjust everything sure i mean i'm sure they let you find the extremes and they let you find the the middle you yeah know? i'm sure there's other stuff that like people would say oh i i, I want to adjust this like sure. weird thing but as far as like bigger brands big it's like there you could get like some like ultra small batch builder that has like a nine knob phaser probably oh probably that but controls it, every internal component right but as know? far as like your mass distributed uh high end boutique small batch whatever you want to call it uh -huh. uh companies go like I don't know if anyone else is offering something with as many options. I'm sure as there's Earthquaker there's is. a lot of interesting phaser options out there, but this is. This one's definitely compact. Yeah. It's got all the options you could, you know, realistically need. And the fact that it switches to vibrato too is really fun. The fact that it does the uh, the hold thing at, at position two is really great and really useful. I don't know of any other phasers that do that. Uh, if anyone else does, any comment on the group, I guess. But, yeah. I, you know, it's a great pedal. If you're looking for a phaser, if you're like in a reggae band or in a funk band or in an Eddie Van Halen band or something like that, this is going to be a great pedal for you. If you're not in one of those bands and you don't need a phaser, then what are you, don't, why are you listening to our opinion on I this? would say, like, if you're looking for something that just does makes weird sounds, you should check it out. Oh, sure. It's a noisemaker. Because uh, definitely at, like, the more extreme settings, like, it does some extreme stuff. Yeah. Extreme! <laughs> Speaking of extreme, did you watch the Grammys at all? I did not. I never watched. Are we the transitioning? We're transitioning. Out. Yeah, we All just right. transitioned. Uh, so the dude. From we just transitioned, guys. We're in another. We're in another world now. The dude from Extreme was on the Grammys.